Right, it's not looking too good, is it? No. Nah. Got quite a bit of sediment in the bottom, but that's. Don't even smell like petrol. Mm. It's not very well. Definitely fuel related. So what's the story so far, Ash? Can you just explain what's happening? Plug leads are on the wrong way round. And like I say, you have to sort of guess the timings. You haven't got points in there to set. So you have to get it ballpark and then fire it up and then get a strobe on it. Um, and it was running yesterday and it stayed running, but now I've stripped the carb, rebuilt it. And it won't stay running for some reason, which is, I think, float levels. I've looked online what they should be, but that doesn't mean it's right for that carburetor. I looked up Idlebrock 1406, which is what it is. See if you can see that. Those two jets there should pump fuel in, even with that off. So you would say that's run out of fuel, you know what I mean? So if we pump that up again. Now that's got three PSI. And hopefully that should give us fuel then. Which it isn't, it's not enough in there. I don't have fuel or not. Mine just doesn't spray mate. Yeah, it's very stale as well. Can you just turn the ignition on Stuart? Yeah. Okay, turn it off. Fuel to there, so it's in the carb. Top of the carb again. Do you want a bowl of gumbo in a minute? I would do, but um, I, I'm allergic to shellfish. Don't have a bowl of gumbo, do you? No. So what are you doing now then? Well, I don't know why those float levels were like that. It should be. 7 sixteenths of an inch from what I've read, which is 11 mil, which is one of them. So that's near enough. That one's a bit low. Well, I'll come down a little bit actually, I'll go to 10 mil. Because we weren't getting enough fuel in there, because what it is, your needles go in there. I'll take one apart, you can have a look and see. That's your inlet, yeah? So yeah. your rubber tip needle, fuel goes in there. Goals? 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 Fuel goes in there. When the float comes up, obviously this is upside down. It locks off the needle, so no more fuel can get in, yeah? Okay. Now there should be 7 sixteenths of an inch. But if these have been changed... Between it, where and where? That gasket face and there. Okay. But that's about 11 mil, so I want to go down a bit, because I'm not getting fuel in by the looks of things. So that's 10 mil, isn't it? That one's a bit low, isn't it, by the looks of it? But it should be enough fuel in there still to run it once it's fired, which is what I don't understand. That's good, that's about 10 mil. See that slot there? Your fuel level should be high enough for the fuel to spill into that slot. Okay. And then your accelerator pump goes in there. Obviously if there isn't enough fuel in there, then it squirts down through those two, which we were looking at through the top of the carb. Yeah. So if there isn't enough in there, then it can't squirt it, but that fuel is so shit. So, let's try that again. Wouldn't a logical first step be to swap out all the fuel and just make sure you've got clean, fresh? No, because it was running yesterday. Oh, okay. It's something I've done in the carburetor this morning. So okay. I had to make this gasket. It didn't have a gasket on it. Okay. So it's something in the carb inherently that I've done. Right, the needles can't fall out. All right, you can't force those in. You have to release these to get the downdraft needles in. fuel up in there. So what are you looking for? Making sure fuel's pumping through? Yeah. And where would you look? Out of those two jets, it's not a good flow. It should be enough to fire it though.
problem solving, huh? Mm. What are you thinking? Not too short to be perfectly honest with you. Let's give that a longer stroke. <laughs> So what do you think is happening? Once the initial bit of fuel is used up, it's not drawing fuel in? Yeah, it's not, basically it's like it's not filling up again. Uh, what's your thoughts at the moment then? I'm not really too sure. I've got a feeling it's probably something to do with the base gaskets on the car. There might be a vacuum cut out missing. It's obviously getting vacuumed to those because they pull straight down when it fires up, the transition jets. But I wasn't getting any vacuum out of that port, which is wrong. So I think I'm going to have to pull the carburetor off again, mate. I mean, it didn't run any better yesterday, to be fair, but there was all sorts of things wrong with it. So. What was wrong with the carb yesterday? Um, a big lump of gasket on the bottom that was in the way. Um, the only other thing it could be is if they put the jets in the wrong way round. I mean, I only took them out and cleaned them, but I have to look up the sizes. I wouldn't have said the timing's out because it fires straight. I'll set it at six degrees, which is what they specify. Alright, that's giving us 3 psi. See if the accelerator pump's working. Oh, yeah, that's working now. Right, let's see if she fires. Sounds clean, huh? Yeah, a little bit, doesn't it? It might have a lump of cam in it, you don't know. But to me, the only thing you can do now, I don't think it's carved now. The only other thing is check all the compressions. See, it's got a Chevy distributor in it, which isn't is right, but you see the stroke pulsing on and off when it's misfiring. So, new set of plugs, clean fuel, try that, I think. Firing. The fuel won't do that, it's electrical. If it's fuel, it'll smooth out when it gets up onto the high circuit of the carburetor. Okay. I think you've got to go basically with a new set of leads, a new set of plugs clean fuel because there's nothing to really go wrong in there except your coil built in the only other thing to do is run a wire straight from the battery to that to make sure that it doesn't get any interference anywhere on the, on the electrical side of things because if that makes it better then you know that there's a compromise somewhere in the pink wire that feeds it so the engine seems to be running okay, it's just the uh, electric. It's misfiring somewhere. I, I don't I don't think that's carburation now. 
because it's, miss, it's missing all the way through the rev range. If it's carved, when it gets up onto the higher circuit, and if you haven't, the mixture screws don't matter a shit, it, it will just suck fuel in and run, yeah. you know what I mean? Right, number one's very low temperature wise. So you're just taking the temperature of the spark plugs? Just the exhaust ports. And that one's hot. 73. Anything to 70 and 90 is about right. So that number one is cold. What would cause that? Not firing. Uh. Hence, hence the misfire. nuts is putting some fresh fuel in it because it could be it's so oily it just won't clear the plugs you know what I mean okay and I think it's more than dirty fuel but we, we've got to start from square one do you know what I mean all right it's not looking too good is it no nah. got quite a bit of sediment in the bottom but that's don't even smell like petrol so mm. it's not very well Right, so let's get rid of that. Give that a good clean out in a minute. So that goes in there. That's your pressure regulator. Right, that goes down in that hole there. Spring goes in there. So this fuel pressure regulator, what does it regulate the pressure of the fuel? Yeah, <laughs> that's the one. Because you can't run those carbs at any more than 6 PSI. Okay. It blows the seals out of them. Get a little punch. Just tap the edge over on that alley. Hopefully that'll hold it in there. I should do it. So it regulates it on the way out. Okay. I'll do for the moment so we can put that back together now. Mm. I can't see as it's Carl Brett and there's not enough in there to warrant it going wrong, you know what I mean? This is just jetted completely wrong. All I can do now is go back to basics, check the compression. I mean, if it's got good compression all around, then it's, it's not valves, it's not rings. The only other thing that could be completely fucked out of it is uh, the um, if the timing chain is so badly stretched, because then you, your ignition timing doesn't locate with your valve timing. So you just don't know what people have done. I mean, if the timing chain shot to shit, that could do it. One twenty-five. So what's this process then? 
checking the compression ratio well not ratio the, the compression psi if you're a long way down on one you know it's either a valve hole in the piston you know anything sort of dramatic okay 25. Okay. Just over. And what tolerance do you allow then? Well, normally, I mean, anything above 100 and you know, those should run. Um, it's, it's, if there's six at 125 and one at 70, then you know there's something wrong. Okay. set of tubular headers, isn't it? Wouldn't say it's the strongest spark in the world. Okay. Hi, mate. That's f***ing hot. There you go, mate. Not the biggest spark in the world. Try and knock it a plug gap right down on one, knock it down to 25. Try that, mate. There's no difference to the spark strength. So this obviously isn't leads, unless they're breaking down under load, but I doubt it. Let's see if I can find a points distributor for it or something. I don't think it's carb. Um, there must be a way of checking it on it's on top dead centre, what the valve lift should be on another piston, and that'll tell you whether the cam timing's right. You should be able to set it top dead centre number one, mm -hmm. and then you valve. You put a DTI on what one of the valves somewhere, and it should tell you if it's got the right. Because I know I did it on the Buick. You, you set it up on number one. You bring it up to number one, top dead centre. Yeah. And then another valve somewhere should be at like gone down forty five yeah, thou or whatever. If, yeah, because if you've got the stock cam specs, because it, it gives you lobe separation and stuff like that, doesn't it? Yeah. So you should be able to pick that up somewhere. I'll have a look online. If you drove it like that, what would be the long-term implication of it? It just wouldn't last, or? No, no it'd probably go all right. But it's, see, it might have a fucking hairy ass lumpy cam in it. You, you don't know what people have done. But normally you don't pick up a misfire all the way through. No. You might get it lumpy up to about 2000, but after that it should clear. Mm. We have rebuilt the carb twice put another distributor in it that didn't work put that one back in that works completely rewired the car um put new timing chain in it and new timing gears still not overly happy with the way it runs but i think it's probably head gaskets or it has got a seriously lumpy camshaft in it which i don't think it has because the idle i can't get the idle bang on um if it was mine personally i'd change the head gaskets Got all the heater working, done all the switch gear on the dashboard, all that's working. Got the wipers working, put some rubbers on the doors, adjusted the doors up, lined the front end up, put the front end on it. Um, all I've got left to do is put the bumper on, and I don't think you can do any more than we've done at the moment, you know. I know the timing's right, that's absolutely bang on on the strobe light. What's it drive like? Once it's up and going, it's okay. Yeah, it drives quite smoothly, but it's um, obviously got the judder when you pull away. Which could be could be brakes stuck on it could be because the idle's lumpy could be clutch but like i say robbie knows what he's doing he's faced had the clutch plate faced off and the flywheel faced off and the new pressure plate it's just one of those things he's gonna have to sit there and just go through it bit by bit and eliminate the problems as you go you know yeah but you think maybe the head gasket could solve a lot of that not the juddering i don't think no I mean, it will contribute it's a bit of a weird one so he needs to drive it and tell me what you know what it was like before what it you know because i haven't got a clue I'm, you're working with a misnomer, aren't you? You don't know. It's not leaking anymore because it was leaking out the bottom of the rad. Yeah. So I just go through, do the f last final little bits, and then you can come and pick it up and drive it and have a, see what he thinks, you know. Cool. Next week on the workshop. Oh, fing cold freezing hands that don't fing work when they're warm. Does that make any sense? Did to me. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs>